It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and I want to talk about the two main uses for the hero Sebastian because he is the hero of the month for the month of February here on Hero Wars Facebook and web. Before we get any further into the video, you need to level up Sebastian, if for no other reason that he's an integral part of the LOL Osh team, the team that you absolutely need to have to get the most damage possible for you and your guild. You just need him. This is the basic LOL Osh team right here. You have Isaac as a tank, you have Sebastian as the damage dealer, Zhu as a damage dealer, Nebula and Martha as supports. You can use Albus. If you're struggling against the Meteor Shower, that's a physical damage attack, you can drop Albus for Axel, and you can drop Nebula for Jets, but only if you're struggling against that physical attack Meteor Shower. Otherwise, stick to this lineup right here. If you level this team up, you're going to do very well against Osh. Let's just see how high we can get. So there you go, almost 50 million damage in one attack. This is why you need Sebastian. If you take a look at the log here, Sebastian by far did the most damage. Zhu coming in second place with 17 and a half million almost. For no other reason, this is the reason that you need to level up Sebastian. Now beyond that, there are two use cases for Sebastian in Arena, Grand Arena, and Guild War. Sebastian is a physical damage support, but he's also a debuff protection hero. And it all is wrapped up in this ultimate ability right here. First of all, this removes all debuffs from the allied team and protects the next 15 debuffs from being applied. So things like watermarks and Satori's marks, various magic defense debuffs, various armor debuffs, all kinds of silences, all kinds of stuns, Jorgen's energy manipulation abilities. This will block all of those or at least the next 15. Goes very well with this violet ability that lets Sebastian ult very quickly. He starts the fight with, you can see here, 50% energy. My Sebastian is an 85k. You can definitely push it much higher depending on what pet choice you have on him and how high you have him leveled up but protecting debuffs is what a lot of people use in a lot of teams if you take a look at the twins lineup doesn't matter what tank there are doesn't matter what healer there is you can always 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 add sebastian in to protect your twins team versus the enemy debuffs now when you add in a tank and a healer let's just for the sake of things add astroth and martha this used to be one of my favorite twins lineups it's i don't think it's the best anymore but it you know it's the best in some instances there's absolutely no physical damage boosting by sebastian 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 is only included in this lineup because of his ability to block enemy debuffs. He doesn't boost the damage of Lars or Krista. He doesn't boost the healing of Martha. He doesn't boost the tanking ability of Astaroth. He's protecting his team from enemy debuffs, from enemy silences, from enemy stuns, all that stuff. And in a team like this, he's extremely easy to counter using Phobos. That high magic damage team, nobody else on that team is doing physical damage. Phobos' ultimate inflicts a paralysis curse on the enemy with the highest physical attack. This is going to be 99% of the time in Twins teams and other mage teams. It's going to be Sebastian. Use Phobos. He cannot block the paralysis. This is going to take care of that enemy Sebastian very quickly. Now, the other huge use case for Sebastian is to boost the physical damage. We saw that boosting the physical damage in Zhu. Technically, the pure damage from the blue ability comes from Sebastian himself, but it is based on other heroes. This green ability increases the critical hit chance for all allies that have critical hit. So you have to have critical hit already. Good thing that Sebastian provides critical hit chance with his artifact weapon. You can also throw Jet in there if you really wanted. Jet's violet ability provides a passive critical hit chance buff to all of your allies, but you don't need Jet on Facebook and web. Because Ode to Serenity activates so early in the fight due to his public idol ability, that is he gets to start the fight with energy, usually whenever Battle Song comes up, your allies have the artifact weapon buff, the critical hit artifact weapon buff, therefore increasing the critical hit chance of the allies allies even further and then the blue ability adds that pure bonus damage. Now I use Sebastian a lot in my Kark team for two reasons. First of all, to protect my Kark against the blinds. And second of all, so that I get really, really big hits with my Kark. Kark as a physical attacker can critical hit. He doesn't have innately critical hit chance on his own, but add in a Sebastian. He does have a little bit of critical hit chance. Suddenly his three big hits with his ultimate are even bigger. Now to counter Sebastian in lineups like this, generally speaking, just add in a Helios. Flaming Retribution here will counter critical hit enemies. If Sebastian is making the entire enemy team use critical hits on their basic attacks and their skills, Helios is gonna be crushing all of those enemies. Helios' artifact weapon provides armor to your team. It won't block the pure damage, but it'll block the physical damage portion of the critical hits pretty well. Helios is a very fine counter to Sebastian in physical attacking teams. Another 
great counter is going to be the use of the pet Axel. Axel's ultimate as a team pet redistributes all physical and magic damage taken between allies proportional to their remaining health. This means that any big critical hit won't take out your squishy heroes. It will share the damage. It'll spread the damage out among your healers and your supports and your tank. You can also patron Axel to your squishiest hero. I like to put Axel on Celeste's or oftentimes my Helios. This means that every single attack cannot exceed 60% of Helios's health or Celeste's health or whatever. So that means a big critical hit will not one hit your squishy heroes. This ability is very similar to Krista's ice block as useless as she is. I want to thank everybody for voting for Sebastian to be the hero of the month. He is a relatively easy hero to get considering that you can get him out of the 28th day chest as well as the elemental tournament shop up in the elemental tournament area. But everybody needs Sebastian. Everybody needs to level up Sebastian. Like I said, if for no other reason than to use it in the LOL Osh team. If you found this video helpful, at least a little bit educational, maybe I've got a funny sounding voice to you. Please consider leaving a like on this video. It doesn't take but a second or two and it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. We live stream Monday through Friday. On screen now, I've got a video suggesting a Sebastian team that's a little off meta using who I think might be the best physical attacker in 2022 Artemis. Check it out if you have time. If not, that's okay too. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.